Hello, this is O Morgan from O Morgan Labs, and today we are going to plot a slope field using Euler's method, uh, and solve. We're going to solve a differential equation: y prime equals x minus y. We're going to plot the slope field to that, and then plot some initial conditions, all in the TI-89. If you have a TI-89 or an emulator, as you see here, you don't need an extra app. It comes built in with the calculator. Okay, so let's see what we do. First, we have to hit mode. And then under graph, you see where it's blinking function, over arrow, set it to differential equations, enter. Everything else is the same. Main, float, radians, exponential, normals, complex real vector format rectangular pre print on okay everything's good enter now we go diamond y equals okay our function is y prime equals x minus y okay ti89 the independent variable is t so in our problem y prime equals x minus y it's really dy dx equals x minus y okay so the dx is on the bottom so that's the independent variable so we're switching the independent variable from x to t okay that's the one trick that you have to use uh, when you plug this in or if you had a dy dt equals t minus y then you could just plug it in straight but I'm just using y prime equals x minus y because that's the way you see it in most books or I'm thinking the way that's the way I see it a lot anyway so now you plug in y prime equals t not x minus y1 y1 okay t and x are switched right because you see here your y prime is a function of t all right so we push enter okay now you see the t0 zero equals 0 at the top here. You see that there. Um, that's for initial conditions. Okay. But first, let's just plot and see what we get for the slope field. Okay. There's your slope field. Um, it looks like you have a, a equilibrium at y equals x. Okay. But okay. So now there's two ways to enter your initial conditions. First way. You go back to your y equals diamond y equals and you plug in let's say we had initial condition 0 1 0 5 and 0 8 you would use curly bracket uh, these are the y's now 0 5 and I think I said 8 okay enter and now since your t0 equals 0 you're going to plot these initial conditions now to plot other conditions that are not t equals 0 like t equals 5 comma 0 5 comma 5 5 comma 8 you have to do another method but with this method there you go there's the first one there's the second one and there's a the third one okay and those are the different solutions that you can have okay now what if you don't your initial condition is not t equals zero we're gonna go back okay we're gonna clear this out clear okay I'm gonna go back and graph it okay this is the more flexible way of entering initial conditions what you can do is you can go um, second f8 and then you can toggle over your initial conditions. So you have t equals, uh, let's see, 1, negative 2. Okay. And this is the drawback to this method. You can't enter 1.000 and negative 2.000. You have to try and uh, play with the resolution of the graph. So when you do this, quote unquote trace function uh, it'll hit your exact numbers so let's enter 
Okay, so you can uh, have another one. You can go second F8 again. You have to do second F8 each time. You can't just press enter and go. Say we had an initial condition of negative two and one point or negative two, two. Okay, it's not exact because of the resolution of the graph. Press enter. Okay, so you see we have an equilibrium. It's not y equals x, it's somewhere over a little to the right. But anyway, um, this is how you plot slope fields. Wait, wait, I'm not done. Diamond F graph formats. Say you wanted to use Euler's method or Runge Cutter method. This is where where you toggle Runge Cutter or Euler. Some people like to use Euler. Others like Runge Cutter. It uh, it just depends on what <clears throat> what you uh, prefer. Okay, enter. And there you have it, slope fields and solutions in the TI-89.